Effectively acquiring a steady stream of new assets and new clients. I'm John Bowen, CEO of CG Worldwide, and in this short first word video, I want to share with you how a select group of top financial advisors who are awful young are doing this. Now, this is the fourth in a seven part series, and I'm going to tell you how you can get the whole series as well as all the research a little bit later. But what we have is we are all focused, you know, as entrepreneurs that have chose to be in the financial advice business, we have to do two things really well. One, we have to serve our clients well, but at the same time, we have to have more raise your hand to invest more with us, as well as more prospective clients, the right prospective clients to come to us. Now, how do we do that? Well, there's some great lessons that you can learn from some young financial advisors. And I'm going to tell you how you can get the whole ebook in just a couple minutes. But this research all comes from an ebook, a research project we did called the At the Leading Edge, what a select group of young financial advisors can teach the industry. And these young financial advisors, I'm talking about 80% uh, less than 35 years of age, double the industry average of women, and they brought in, in less than five years, over 50 million in assets, in some cases, over 500 million in AUM. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Amazing and some great lessons to be learned. Now, one that I want to point out right away is that these advisors are deliberate. They're being successful on purpose. See, there, there's four groups that we studied. The newcomers, these are financial advisors with less than five years experience and less than 50 million in AUM. Rank and file are the advisors with over five years experience, but still less than 50 million in assets. And quick starters are this group that I'm talking about. They, they're at the leading edge. They have less than five years experience and uh, always had over 50 million in assets, in some cases over 500 million. And the elite are those financial advisors who have more than five years experience and less or excuse me, and uh, more than uh, 50 million in assets. And one of the things you'll notice is that there's a lot of asking going on here, but one of the big things that's so important is when you ask, and this is where you looked at the top 20 clients, so what was the average additional assets you received? You can see the newcomers in rank and files for the most part didn't get new assets, where the quick starters and the elite are doing almost the same. And as a matter of fact, with the, uh, uh, the uh, quick starters doing just a little bit more. So one of the things we want is, I want to point out in this video, just a, a couple you know, success factors, and I'm going to give you access to the whole report. But you know, go ahead and ask for additional assets. You can serve your clients well by doing it. Oftentimes, you know, financial, I mean, here, here's uh, what we see when we survey the affluent. The affluent, what's happening? They don't diversify the way we do. We diversify oftentimes by asset class, being thoughtful and all that. They can't tell the difference between financial advisors. Matter of fact, the typical affluent client with $2 million or more of investable assets, 97.5 of them have two financial advisors or more. I mean, when you get up to $5 million in assets, financial assets, liquid assets that are manageable, what we find is it's, uh, or more, 5.7. I mean, think of that, 5.7 financial advisors they're working with. I mean, this is huge. So what's going on? They have diversified among financial advisors. They can't tell the difference. So if you're delivering a great experience, you can oftentimes bring those assets together and have a dramatic improvement. And there's four areas you can improve, just real simply. You know, number one is returns. Oftentimes, there's so much overlap on that. Second is risk, that the diversification isn't very thoughtful. You can make it much more thoughtful. Third is taxes. And by combining, the, obviously, the ability to be tax managed much better. And then fourth, because of the 
a blended rate most of us use as more assets come in, you can have a lot more cost effective. So it always has to be in the client's best interest, but your ability to serve your clients well by doing a diagnostic and looking at those four areas and requesting additional assets is very, very substantial. From there also, let me give you another idea that we're seeing from these quick starters. See, the quick starters are asking for referrals. And one of the most important parts of this is, again, when we examine their top 20 clients, is they're getting the response. So 20% of their clients, of the top 20, gave six or more referrals. Okay, this is the largest by any group. You can see all the numbers here. And, and really what it comes down to is you have to ask for referrals. Now in coaching, what we teach, and I'm gonna just give you this real quick, it's a second opinions offer. You really don't wanna ask for referrals, you wanna offer a service. The second opinion offer is for your clients. What we do is once they become clients, every regular progress meeting, you offer to the people that they care about a second opinion service. See, four out of five affluent individuals, successful families, are unsure whether they have the right financial advisor. Why wouldn't they? There's 460,000 financial advisors. Oftentimes they have multiple ones. So you offer a service to take a look at where they, their people they care about, where they are now, where they wanna go, and the gap. And then go ahead and see whether their current financial advisor provider is doing a good job. And if they are, you tell them to stay there. And if not, you're gonna evaluate whether you're the right one. You only take those clients that you can make a major impact with. And if your current provider isn't right, you're not the right one, you promise to point them in the right direction. This is what we call the second opinion offer. And I gotta tell you, this has been hugely successful in our coaching program. Uh, we've had advisors who, by delivering a great experience, and this is a part, you gotta deliver a great experience, Delivering a great experience and doing just this have grown at 20% or more per year. Now, I'd love to be able to share with you an awful lot. So let me give you one more piece. Referrals, introductions from other professionals. Quick starters, they are, if we look at the white box, receiving a steady stream, they're getting the most of anyone. They understand of working with other professionals. Who are they working with? Accountants, attorneys, mortgage uh, brokers, other professionals, property casualty, life insurance agents. So one of the things that I want you to think about, and this is so powerful, is build bridges with other professionals. Now, I don't have the time to go into all of it and you can get the full report, but when we survey affluent clients, 54% of them found their primary financial advisor by another professional. This is why it's so critical for you to really understand what's working out there. And, and I'd like to provide you with the research you need to accelerate your practice. How can you do that? Well, by joining us and participating in this ongoing research. See, what we'd like to have you do, if you're working with clients today, we're gonna invite you, I'm inviting you to join our financial advisor panel. And what this means is we're gonna contact you via email three or four times a year. We're gonna provide you an opportunity to share your thoughts, your input on a range of issues that are gonna be of interest, not only to you, but the industry at large. And for participating, you're gonna get not only our sincere thanks, but you're gonna get access to special reports, eBooks, and the results from these studies that are not otherwise generally available. We don't make them available to anyone other than our corporate clients and our coaching clients as well as some other bonuses. Now, to do this, you know, by joining today, you know, going down, hitting the link below here, and becoming part of the panel, answering a few questions, we'll give you this research report right now, the at the leading edge. You know, the select group of young financial advisors, what they're teaching the industry. And I gotta tell you, there's so many great lessons that are learned here. All you have to do is, you know, you can type it like this little guy, click really quick, and get it done, or you can simply hit the link below and answer the questions, join the panel, and we will share with you this research. And I gotta tell you, it's unbelievable how these young financial advisors under the age of 35 are in less than five years bringing in tremendous amounts of assets, serving affluent clients, and these are lessons that your clients, your future clients, your teammates, 
They all want you to know. They're counting on you. Don't let them down. We want you to be at the leading edge. Join us on the panel so you can be at the leading edge. Wish you the best of success. Thank you.